In this second example, the plant transfer function is simply 1 over s. And we still have a control gain k, so our line function here is k over s. We wish to determine the location of the closed loop poles given the open loop transfer function and the line function here k times g. We have with this transfer function only one pole, n equals to 1, and we have no zeros, m equals to 0 which means that n minus m is equal to 1. This means that we have an excess of one pole. There is one more pole than zeros, and that pole doesn't have a zero to go to. So we have to go to infinity, and you go to infinity following an asymptote. We can determine the angle of that asymptote using the following formula. 180 plus 360 times q minus 1 divided by n minus m. Q goes from 1 to n minus m. So Q in this case is simply 1. If you had n minus m equal to 2, then you have Q equals to 1 and Q equals to 2, and you'd be able to calculate two angles. In this case, you only have one asymptote, so Q equals to 1. Theta in this case is then 180 times plus 360 times Q minus 1. This is 0 divided by 1, and this is 180 degrees. So here, it, here is what we have. We know that we have one more pole than zeros, and that pole will go to infinity following an asymptote that has an angle of 180 degrees with respect to the real axis. Now let's locate the poles and zeros on the S-plane. We only have one pole. The pole is zero. It is located here. And now let's count the number of poles and zeros. Starting from, from plus infinity, we have up to here, we have zero, and past that pole, now the counter becomes one. In this region here, we have now an odd number of poles and zeros, and you are to the left of an odd number of poles and zeros. So we know now that the root locus needs to exist along this real part of the axis. We also know that at this pole we have to go to infinity because it has no zeros to go to, and you'll do so following a 180 degree asymptote. You're starting, for, you're starting from the positive real axis, 180 degrees would be right here. And the asymptote now needs to be along the negative real axis. We know that the root locus exists on this part of the axis as well, so now the root locus is simply going from zero to negative infinity as k tends to zero from infinity. So k equals to zero. The pole is right there. And k tending to infinity brings the pole to negative infinity. Again, we started the analysis with the open loop transfer function. This is the pole of the open loop transfer function. But the root locus here represents the poles of the closed loop transfer function, that is the, the output divided by the input. That can be derived if you know the open loop transfer function if you have a unit feedback loop.